In this video, you will learn how to insert secondary access in a bar graph in Microsoft Excel. You can see here I have inserted two y axes. First one shows the sale value, and other one shows the profit value. Now let's look at this data. You can see here I have five columns. First one shows the month. Second one shows the sale, and these are two blank columns and fifth one shows the profit you can see here i have inserted these two blank columns because there is no magical button in excel um, which can be used to insert this secondary axis and you have to use certain tricks to insert this secondary axis i will explain it later part of this video so uh, why uh, secondary axis is needed for example here is the data you can see here the profit values are in hundreds while sales values are in thousands if i want to display this value in the form of graph then the profit value will be hardly visible for example select this go to insert and insert a multiple bar graph or column graph you can see here that it is hardly visible now if i want to display on secondary axis i will select format data series and i will select this data to secondary axis then this bar will be overlapped so there is uh, no solution for this problem except to use certain tricks so that uh, these are visible like this one so let's start this tutorial i am dr tayal mahmood and you are watching teaching junction channel if this video is helpful for you then like this video and subscribe our channel for more informative videos firstly i will insert two blank columns click here right click and click on this insert now again click here right click and press this insert again now you can see here I, we have inserted two blank columns first one is the sale blank i will only write b and this is the profit blank Now select this data, go to insert tab and from here you can select the bar or column chart. Now resize it. Select this series, click on any bar, right click, go to format data series and from here you can select secondary axis. Close this one, go to chart element option, click on this plus sign and select the axis title option and uncheck the grid line option now right here this is the sale value write sale in formula bar and press enter similarly this is the month press enter Select this, write profit in formula bar and press enter. Select chart title, put equal sign in formula bar and select this cell, press enter. 
now write 100 here any value to locate this bar press enter I will increase it values so it will be more visible I will write 1000 then press enter now this is the value right click go to format data series and from here you can select secondary axis and close this one after that uh, remove these values and press enter now you can see here that the secondary axis appeared here and these bars are more visible but you can see here there is a gap between these and we have to adjust their width secondly you can see here we have also added the legend because uh, there are some extra values here before that uh, let's uh, adjust their font size first 16 18 is fine I think change their color to black and bold next uh, I will edit the axis values for example this one is the sale I will change it to 12 bold and change its color to black now I will double click on format printer option and to format remaining value like this one now click on this axis label right click go to format axis to insert a solid line Firstly, I will change minimum value to 5000. Scroll down and you will find the option of tick marks. You want to insert tick marks on outside. Similarly, go to this fill and line option and select the color of line black and width 1.5 pt select other axis and similarly format this one line color black 1.5 width go to series option and minimum value should be 200 and i want tick marks on outside you can do similar formatting for this one now come to legends click here then right click on sale b you can see a circle appeared here press backscape similarly click on this legend and again click on profit b and press backscape now click on this uh, bar you can see here if you uh, click on any bar then the whole series will be selected go to fill and line option from here you can change the fill color and if it is fine then there is no problem you can even insert a border around that for example i want to insert a solder line around it and i can adjust its width using this option now go to this series option and in series our lab uh, select zero and in gap width write 100 similarly select other data series and in series our lab select zero you can even write or you can manually adjust it using these options 
and in gap width write 100 and by doing so you have completed the formatting of this graph you can insert the border like this one as i previously explained and that's the end of this tutorial thanks for watching this tutorial